guys, Tim from Outdoor Power, and today I'm going to show you guys a uh, interesting little phenomenon I've been made aware of. Um, you can see them on YouTube, but uh, what there is uh, down at this park by my house, uh, there's like this weird bubble that's formed in the grass. Um, so I'll show you guys, and I'll try to explain uh, why this occurs. Alright guys, so this is what I'm talking about right here. This is a lawn bubble. So, when you look at it, you know, it just looks like grass. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but when I walk onto it, the entire thing kind of moves. That's all water underneath there. So, I don't know why that is like that, so when I get back, um, I'm going to do some research and update you guys. So I looked into this, and it looks like there's this thing called a lawn blister. Um, and as I'm kind of reading into what it is, um, one possible explanation would be that there is um, a layer of plastic underneath the grass, and a water main broke, uh, which caused this uh, grass blister. I don't think that's the case, A, because um, it's public land, so they wouldn't really be doing landscaping, and I don't think there are any water mains that run under there. I've never seen any flags or paint up. Additionally, we've also had like three inches of rain. So my th what my theory is, underneath, so where that lawn blister was, um, there's a pond maybe about 50 or so feet away from it. So what I'm guessing that ended up being was there was either some sort of underground uh, seepage sorry excuse my computer uh, there's some underground seepage of water either from the lake or from the uh, surrounding ground and I think the water level got up to where the um to where the top of that actual blister was and what happened was when the water level went down there was either some sort of pressure that pushed it back up um, and I'm thinking that's probably what it was. Um, now you're probably wondering, well, how you know how does it contain water like that? So my other, th um, so the second part of that whole theory is um, that grass has probably been there for like I don't know, 30, 40 years. So it has very strong roots, um, and the dead grass underneath it and all the other materials uh, probably all bonded underneath there at some point. Um, so it's very thick. You you know, when you walk across it, you can feel that it's a thick layer of grass um, that probably just ended up forming a watertight barrier. So what that is, is it's just containing um, a ton of water um, inside of a waterproof barrier. So that's the uh, short explanation of this. Um, if I didn't explain it perfectly, uh, please excuse me. I'd like to really understand, you know, the science behind this, um, you know, if Minute Physics or, uh, uh, Smarter Every Day, um, wants to look into this or, you know, some other, uh, science channel I haven't heard of, uh, that'd be really awesome. This is Tim from Outdoor Power, signing off.